feels good using fire so this is my sample run Damn, you couldn't set it burning um, by yourself. with the flamethrower as you want to see the battle me wizard I, had it down mm, I chose battle fight. wizard no, over iron breaker because uh, so if you i'm playing with the bots and the iron breaker bot is just much better than the right Kirillian bot chaos warrior I will try to explain like my some of my decision decisions as I go. When there are lots of meat targets, it's always uh, better to ki kill them to use the right click attack in order to kill the stuff that you can kill quickly and then finish off the armor when everything else is dead that assassin will burn to death eventually Bardin. I guess all those years as a battle wizard paid off. I hope you want to fight. There's two assassins at least. Probably three. Yeah, that was three. One to life. So for the berserkers, you want to just try and burn them before they get to you, because you can't control them reliably. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Don't count on it. So just burn them to death before they reach you. Best Same with Plague Wands. So here we have the horde, it's a simple horde. So we just use short bursts. Here we have a mod. Fly storm is uh, the highest threat to the bots, so must be dealt with ideally. Uh, but that one is too far away. So when you have when you have a horde plus boss scenario, as a flamethrower user, you should try to kill the horde. If can, even if the boss is aggroed on you, you should still try to do it. Now the boss is dead, we have two bots, so... Again, uh, kill, deal with the uh, flame the horde and then blow the chaos warrior until the horde is killed. Thank you. 
That leech will die to bone damage. Venture. So far, so good. And suddenly, howling doobie all around. Notice how push step increases my movement speed. Let's me cover the ground faster. I can't reach that blight storm, so I might as well just better. run full. There's no time to cut them down. Now I'll have to deal with that guy. Oh, oh. Oh, it's about to get messy. There's a hook rat coming for us. Uh, you can see why I one of the reasons why I get burned out talent is that I can cover a big ground with my ultimate. And uh, that that is useful when I need to kill specials with my flamethrower. I lost a lot of time dealing with the uh, various threats and I didn't make any throw drops. Here I use the shoot above their heads technique. Avoid damaging the bots. Last moment block to utilize parry. And I lost my soul spire bot. Have only one bot left. We got the strangler. Wallace can't be reliably controlled by the flamethrower, but the, it's good enough. It controls them whenever they are not using their overhead attack. But again, it's much better on the Iron Break in these situations. If I was Iron Break, I would be able to interrupt them, I think. Okay, let's try to not win Spartan. Healing draft, don't squander it. Healing draft! This is the way! <laughs> oh, come on, Bajan. Okay, it doesn't make sense to go back. It's too far away. And now I'm in big trouble because fire is too generous. The fire is also generous and good. Okay, so I've set the guy on fire. So I can kill him now. There should be a horde soon. I'll just push forward into the tunnel. The tunnel is very good spot to fight if I use a flamethrower. I should not go any further because there's a boss trigger in this tunnel. So. I want to kill the fort before I get past the boss. Here I will have to use the mix of a mix of melee and I will have to use the potion.
And I'm forced to go forward. Join me! Join me! Okay, that was close. Always reliable, So I had to use a mix of melee pushing and uh, switching to the flamethrower back and forth, and also using my ult for the extra crowd control when I had to. Keep going! Over there, There's another session. So even even oh, it will go on. With the lingering flame talents, I can afford to not finish off the specials and let them burn to death. Which is a huge tactical advantage. Okay, it will be hard to avoid this patrol with the bots. Because two of my bots, Marcus and Bajan, they can aggro them with their alts. I'll try to position my bots so that they are far away from the patrol. The telltale sound of a rattling! Gas! dead and gone! I don't think the patrol are good, they are just turning back. There's a back up! Fire like a tiger! Open cursed assassin! There's no stopping a dwarf, is so, there? So, uh... Speak, if you're not sure if you set a spell shell on fire... A good, a good way to tell it, uh, if watch your crosshair, see that my crosshair is flashing, that means that I'm dealing damage over time to something. Not necessarily the special, but to something. Close. Now just run past the enemies and jump down. The bots should follow suit. Left click attack against Stone Woman. And I think I agree with the patrol. Uh, a waste of... Uh, let's hope I can, can kill them before they turn to Darren. Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in fusion. That back master will probably be there. Okay, that, the Packmaster is dead due to bones. And I think I... Yeah, I think I... I'm still alive. Yeah, I got lucky with supply spawn, supply spawns there. Really lucky. 
And there's a horde coming, I think I'll kill it here before going to the revive the boss. So naturally with the flamethrower you should try to choose choke points. I will go as soon as I kill this one. Now the big danger is uh, getting caught by the session before I revive the board. That's the drop. I got lucky this time. Another pack master coming. Stop burning! If you can stop us, you're welcome to bloody drop! Again, the alt helps in an any type of situation. Took a lot of left clicks to kill the. Oh, damn it. Let's hope the boss can follow suit. But I did, guys. You can just uh, find the spot where you can shoot. This time it's near the wall. And always shoot. The rule number one is never, never melee, always shoot. Unless you are fighting just like one chaos order and nothing else. Rule number two is uh, kill specials whenever you can. A lot of people think that uh, a flamethrower is useless against specials. So this is so far from the truth. It's the best weapon to kill specials up close, and especially when they are uh, when they are inside hordes. Nothing even even come close. Uh, the flamethrower is useless against specials that are far away, but against the close ones, it's just the best weapon. Rest is for later. Flames are for now. How come the affluent part of town is left ravaged? Storm vermin! Another port coming. We can fight here. If, if we fight here, we have to control uh, two ways of approach. Oh, 
Well, so when you are fighting in, in a corner like this, you have to control two ways of approach and switch between them. And again, try to shoot above their heads. Now I I hit them one once over once every once in a while, but their bots so they don't mind. Humans usually won't mind too, because they will feel if you do it right, they will feel that you do more harm, more good than harm with your flamethrower. I decided to melee a bit to get some temporary health. Ammunition's no good for me. Any takers? Okay, time to start the event. We have an assassin in the back. You're master. too young to die, Zaren! Why, thank you, Biden. The big issue that the flamethrower, your flamethrower will interfere with your own vision a lot. So you just have to rely on your hearing and just, you have to know what's there rather than see what's there. Uh, also, whenever I forgot a uh, very important tip, whenever you are flaming through a horde, you should always you should always spam your pin button, the, the button that marks specials and deletes. So if a special or a delete is coming through the horde, you will see it because you will ping it. See, I I only noticed the monk because I pinned it. Now. I hope the boys will That was actually super stupid of me. Don't do this. I'm just doing this to get temporary health. I choose not to heal Soul Spy in this case because I might need this uh, healing draft for Baden. So it's a relatively safe position because all enemies will always come from the front. See how I use uh, the bots as my mid shoots? I always try to get behind them and then shoot. You can do the same with players. Just get behind them and shoot above their heads. That's the best way to use the game forward. This way you don't have to switch to melee and block and dodge. It's just more efficient. So, uh, the safest way to do this event is to... I'll have to... I'll have to uh, You don't ho do, do have to do this when playing with players because players can avoid gas like the bots. You can you can rely on them to kill distant specials most of the time. 
this if you are playing on cataclysm you can always rely on other players to shoot these two specials But if you play with bots, you have to kill Blight Stormers and Gastras yourself. So, uh, the... Okay, let me kill this So, the safest way to do the event is to uh, push the card, the, even if it's empty. Push it all the way. Because it will stop the enemy spawns. Okay, I will have to use my bomb now. To save the bots. It's just too much stuff. Again, when you get surrounded, use your alt to uh, escape and then uh, position so that all the enemies are on one side so they can shoot, save the flame. Never be surrounded. Just farming a bit of temporary health. Waiting for a session. Now a lot of a lot of chaos warriors will come. I think. That assassin will die. Okay, it died. Okay, best to go here to defend against Chaos Warriors. They will all come from one side. Again, Pike Master coming through the port is just not a threat again to a man thrower. will die before it reaches me. And it's dead. I didn't even see it, I just heard it that he did. No other weapon can do it. Okay. So these Chaos Warriors are burning, but we can finish them off quickly with the dagger. Okay, the, now there will be no more spawns until I uh, do the battles. I can even scavenge for supplies if I want to. push steps to run faster because why not so at this point the game is already won because uh, the final event is super easy I could just run all the way to the exit I'm choosing again not to heal swords because he's better off with his wild HP. That's it. Now we just need a good shot. Ha ha ha! Oh, look at that! I do believe I'm waiting for a toy! Roll them in the head. Kill them. 
Exit part. That's what my first melee kill I think. Not counting the armor. I'll just jump for the exit of this one. Well, bots. Let's see uh, the stats. I want to check how much friendly fire damage I did. So normally when playing with humans, I do uh, 30 to 50 friendly fire damage with a flamethrower. But here I might have done more because uh, I just uh, shoot my bots more than I do humans. Just because they don't complain. We'll see. But it was a short run, so maybe I did below 50. Oops, well, you haven't seen this, but you can just uh, trust me uh, on my word that I do, I almost always do below 50 friendly fire when playing with humans. Okay, thanks for watching.